the US is planning something big. It's called the Golden Dome, and it's being hyped as America's answer to the growing threat of hypersonic missiles, drones, and high-speed attacks. Think of it like the famous Israeli Iron Dome, but way more advanced and designed to protect not just cities, but possibly the whole country and even US forces overseas. So, how will this new defense system work? How much could it cost? And is it even technically possible? Warfare has evolved far beyond the Cold War era, when the main concern was a few big, slow nuclear missiles. Today's threats include hypersonic missiles, flying at over five times the speed of sound, cruise missiles capable of dodging radar systems, and swarms of drones that can launch surprise attacks from nearly any direction. Nations like China and Russia are rapidly modernizing their arsenals, and even rogue states and non-state actors are gaining access to advanced military technologies. Recognizing that existing missile defense systems are no longer sufficient, therefore the US President has directed the Pentagon to begin work on a next-generation missile shield. That ambitious project is now known as the Golden Dome. The Golden Dome isn't just a bunch of radars and missiles. It's being designed as a cutting-edge, layered defense system, built to handle almost anything that flies fast and threatens danger. That includes ballistic missiles, hypersonic weapons, cruise missiles and drone swarms, essentially anything fast and dangerous. The real game-changer is space-based interceptors, designed to strike enemy missiles right after they launch, alongside possible ground-based systems for closer-range threats. The system is expected to involve a constellation of new satellites positioned in low-Earth and medium-Earth orbits. These satellites will serve as early warning sensors, detecting missile launches in real time, and guiding interceptors to neutralize threats during their boost phase. AI and quantum computing will quickly predict where a missile might go, even if it changes direction mid-air, and choose the best time and place to hit it before it reaches its target. The Golden Dome would most likely use kinetic interceptors launched from space, not laser beams. Lasers could come later, once tech improves. The key idea is to hit missiles early in what's called the boost phase, from space, before they get near US territory or allies. Shooting projectiles from space is extremely costly, requires launching interceptors into orbit, keeping them powered, guided, and maintained, which is no small task. The US will probably go for a blended setup, using a mix of space-based tracking plus ground or air-based interception, something more realistic and cost-effective in the short term. Instead of placing interceptors in orbit, the US might use high-altitude drones, stealth aircraft, or balloons to launch interceptors during the boost phase. If a missile gets past the boost phase, ground-based systems would still try to intercept it in mid-course. The Golden Dome would just give them much more time to react, thanks to space tracking. Building something like the Golden Dome won't be a walk in the park. There are some serious challenges ahead. First off, the tech hurdle is massive. Hitting a missile from space is like trying to shoot a bullet with another bullet at 15,000 miles per hour. That's the level of precision needed. Meanwhile, rivals aren't sitting still. Countries like China and Russia are racing ahead with their own space defenses and anti-satellite weapons, making the competition even tougher. And let's not forget the sheer size of the job. Protecting the US is one thing, but trying to cover bases in Japan, Germany, Israel, South Korea, and others. That's a massive stretch, and not easy to manage. The initial version of the Golden Dome could be ready by the 2030s, with full capability expected by the 2040s. It's a massive undertaking, with a projected cost running into hundreds of billions of dollars. Once deployed, the system would operate both in space and on the ground, covering the US mainland and potentially extending protection to key overseas bases as well. The Golden Dome is a bold and risky move. 
If it works, it could stop wars before they begin. But if it fails, it might push the world toward a dangerous nuclear arms race. Some US leaders think it's better to protect only key allies or just focus on defending the homeland. The danger? Unprotected countries might build their own nukes. One thing is clear, this isn't just a defense system. It's a high-stakes gamble on the future of war and America's global role. 